Flyers, we are very excited to have you here. I want to say a big thank you to you for letting me work with your students every day. We do have wonderful choirs and uh, we really do enjoy what we do. Uh, we would like to get started on the senior candle lighting ceremony. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Miss Seitz and she's going to be our speaker today. I'm very happy this year that I don't have to announce them because I cry every time. And I get to walk down to my daughter and the Seitz gets to try not to cry. So we'll see what happens. Say a little This is a, well, here we go. Okay, so this is this is a very special class for me because I got to counting up out of the 13 of their school years, I've been their teacher for nine. So that gets me going. And they are a very special group, and I'd like to start out. Is everybody ready? Yes. <laughs> Give me my old lady glasses on. is Cody Brown. Cody Brown's guardians are Andrea and Larry Hanner. His future plans is computer coding. They require experience, pop concert, advice to underclassmen, look at the bright side of things. A good thing choir has taught me is to help me find my voice. Next, we have Drew Chamberlain. He's the son of Chris Chamberlain and Amy Ladner. Future plans are to go to a four-year university and major in secondary education. They require experience going to stay with my contest group. Advice to underclassmen, do what you are told and they will be nice to you. That's true. A good thing choirs taught me it's okay if you make a mistake. Next we have Shelby Dawson. Shelby Dawson is the daughter of Katrina Dawson and Terry Dawson. Future plans are going to a four-year college with a major in education. Favorite choir experience? We ate crumble cookies with Mrs. S at State Choir and heard amazing stories about grace. Advice to underclassmen? Don't be shy. It only pushes you back. A good thing that choirs taught me is taught me that it's okay to mess up. Next, we have Abriana Frazier. She's the daughter of Crystal Gibson and Russ Gibson. Future plans, going to a four-year college and majoring in psychology. Favorite choir experience is the pop concert skits. And advice to underclassmen, do not let anyone tell you you can't do something. They lie. A good thing choir has taught me has taught me to control my voice more. Next, we have Maddie Glaus. She's the daughter of David and Kara Glaus. Future plans to attend a four-year university and major in political science before attending law school. Favorite choir experience, breaking my ankle, falling down the choir riser from steps freshman year. Advice to underclassmen, you only get out what you put in, so do everything and don't take a moment for granted. It flies by. A good thing choirs taught me is brought me closer together with people I probably wouldn't have known otherwise. Next we have Allison Hamlet. She is a daughter of Debbie Hamlet and Carl Collins is a grandpa. Future plans are attending college to become a dental hygienist. Favorite choir experience? When the boys flew the birds all over the classroom. And I remember that well too, they got broken. All right, advice to underclassmen, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. A good thing choirs taught me, it has been a safe spot for many years, especially freshman year when I was scared to start high school. Next, we have Emily Hester. She's the daughter of Ashley Hester. Future plans to attend SEMO for four years and follow that with dental and ortho school. Favorite choir experience, preparing for contests as a choir as our songs were going great and while competing, continuing to shock ourselves at how good we sounded and coming home with all ones. Advice to underclassmen, be yourself and always be accepting and respectful to your classmates. A good thing that choirs taught me, choirs brought me closer to people I never thought I would be close with. 
along with experiences from the past seven years. And next we have Kyla Hill. Kyla Hill is the daughter of Sarah Davis and Corey Hill. Future plans going to SEMO and majoring in special education. Favorite choir experience, she says she's only been in choir for a few days. Advice to underclassmen, always work hard and never eat your lunch in the choir room. A good thing choirs taught me, gave me a fun experience to meet all the kids coming over from schools and all the many different voices. And we have Amber Madigan. She's the daughter of Jennifer Madigan and Leonard Madigan. Her future plans, she plans to attend a four-year university for nursing. Favorite choir experience when Landon drops Susan on stage during Frozen. Advice to underclassmen, enjoy the time you have left in high school. It will fly by before you realize it. A good thing that choirs taught me, choirs made me more confident in using my voice and singing alone on stage. Next we have Alyssa Medlin. She's the daughter of Cassandra Medlin. Future plans, considering trade, education, and taxidermy, and school is undetermined. Her favorite choir experience, freshman year sitting in class with Mason, watching movies and listening to music on the last days of school. Advice to underclassmen, it will make your high school years easier if you respect the upperclassmen as classmates. A good thing choir has taught me, it's built my sense of confidence and comfort in my voice and being able to be open with my opinions. And next we have Kylan Moore. Kylan is the son of Heather Jordan and Gail Jordan. Future plans are to attend SEMO with a scholarship in music department and major in health sciences, physical therapy. Favorite choir experiences, singing in the All District Choir and getting first alternate for All State Choir. Advice to underclassmen is chill out and don't wish it all away. Good thing choirs taught me. Spending time alone with Mrs. Sykes and Mrs. Pavado has made me realize my true potential and has made me feel confident. Next we have Taylor Alejandro Carlos Oliva. Parents are Gwendolyn Oliva. And future plans, being an executive chef. Favorite choir experience is going to contest. His advice to underclassmen is be different. A good thing that choir has taught me it has given me multiple new friends. Next we have Blaine Prance. Brent Blaine is the son of Katrina and J.R. Prance. Future plans, go to college and major in business. Favorite choir experiences, the different trips we went on. And advice to underclassmen, take choir and do your best. A good thing choir has taught me, made my report card look good because of the A. <laughs> Not that it's an easy A. And next we have Alicia Pittman. She is the daughter of Jennifer and Gary Pittman. Future plans, when I graduate high school, I plan to work with young children in special education. Favorite choir experience. My favorite choir experience is always pop concert. My advice to the underclassmen is to have fun and sing loud. A good thing that choirs taught me, being a part of a choir at DHS helped me become more confident in myself, overcome fears of being on stage in front of people, it also helped me make new friends. Choir at DHS has always felt like being home. And next, we have Grace Sepulveda. Grace is the daughter of Chip and Jamie Sepulveda. Her future plans, attending a four-year university and majoring in either marketing, music production, or something similar. Favorite choir experience. I love being on it in the school musical talking with mom and eating crumble in the hotel room, performing Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy with Abby and Jerrica, or performing with Aiden and laughing at the farting song. <laughs> Advice to underclassmen, never take a moment for granted and get involved in everything for more memories. A good thing choirs taught me, hanging with friends and giving me something to look forward to every day. Then we have Mason Simmons. Mason is the son of Lita and Matt Underhile and Bart Simmons. Future plans, I thought about going to an art college if possible, and if not, I want to work hard and maybe go into computer or tech school. Favorite choir experience, 
singing all the different pop songs in pop concert. Advice to underclassmen, stick with it. It's worth it. A good thing choir has taught me, I've been able to sing and be a part of the choir. Next, we have Molly Simmons. Molly is the daughter of Laura and Jonathan Simmons. Future plans are to attend Mizzou and major in journalism. Favorite choir experience, eating humble cookies and talking about our futures with Mrs. Palvado in the hotel room during stay. I must have missed something because we've had three good memories on that. Nobody was giving me crumble cookies. <laughs> Advice to underclassmen. If she yells at you, she probably doesn't actually mean it. In parentheses, if she likes you. A good thing choir has taught me, it has brought me confidence and friendships I wouldn't have made without it. And then next we have Cheyenne Smith. Cheyenne is the daughter of Laura Northington. Her future plans are going to Central Methodist University and studying criminal justice. Favorite choir experience? I think my favorite experience would have to be with Mrs. Colvado tell us she'd protect us from everything except for smiles. Advice to underclassmen, stay true to yourself and don't let anyone bring you down. A good thing choirs taught me? I think choirs helped me open up since I was a freshman. I was a bit more quiet and not as talkative. Next we have Tatum Taylor. Tatum is the daughter of Shauna and Todd Taylor. Future plans are becoming an oral hygienist. Favorite choir experience, going to state contest. And advice to underclassmen, make the most out of every day. It goes by so fast, so enjoy it while it's here. A good thing choirs taught me, brought a lot of amazing friends and people into my life. Next we have Kaylin Traw. Kaylin is the daughter of Rita and Cameron Traw. Future plans, my current plan is to attend Farrier School after I graduate. Favorite choir experience, play practices with my friends. Advice to underclassmen, always give good effort in everything you do. A good thing choir has taught me, it has helped me gain confidence in singing and in life in general. And we have Susan Wells. Susan is the daughter of Tara Wells. Future plans are attending Urshan College to possibly major in human services and minor in music. They require experience, speaking on Mrs. Palvado every chance I get. Advice to underclassmen, don't have an attitude. Mrs. S will set you straight. A good thing choir has taught me. Choir has helped me become stronger in my singing voice and has helped me be more outgoing. <coughs> And our last senior is Gabrielle Young. She's the daughter of Tracy and Misty Young. Her future plans are to attend a four-year university and major in agriculture. Favorite choir experience? Women's Choir Junior Year. Advice to underclassmen? Sing out, even if you think you don't sound good. A good thing that choir has taught me? Choir has introduced me to people I probably would not talk to if it wasn't for the class. And then when she gets in her place, I think these kids and parents up here deserve a round of applause for all that hard work.
for all of their time, hard work, and sometimes blood, sweat, and tears that they put into this program. Um, we have loved our time together with these kids, and we will continue to make as many memories as we can until they graduate in May. So thank you for doing that. As we get the first choir in here, um, I'll talk a little bit more about the song. <coughs> Uh, I'm the choir director, she's the accompanist, but we're also our sound tech. So give me just a minute. really uh, nice for all of them and comfortable. Uh, we got short sleeve because uh, senior parents, as you noticed, it gets really hot up on the risers and I just want them to be as comfortable as possible. The boys, I, you know, we can't have short sleeve touch things. That'd look a little weird, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. All right, so the first song is called Down by the Riverside and we hope you enjoy it. Oh, <laughs> 
first time concert and chamber sang together. So I always get a little bit of nervous about that. They have different hours and it's really hard to get to them together during the day. So that was the first time that both groups sang together and you all did a fantastic job. Very proud of you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, this is a challenging piece. Honors Choir has worked really hard on it. Uh, it. We will be singing it a cappella, and we hope you enjoy singing Bring Me. I wanted to go ahead and tell you about All District Choir, um, and I'll announce those members later on um, in this choir. That made the group. We will be performing on November 11th at Cape Central High School. I will send out notes. I will send out emails. I'll put it on there. Um, classrooms, however I can get it home, but every time some parent doesn't get it. So I don't know how to remedy that um, besides the emails and, and sending notes home with them. How many of you received a paper note about this concert? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> from Dexter. We had 22 students out of the 35 that went make this prestigious group. Large amount. I'm really, really proud. We have four people from this class that made the group, so if you guys would wave when I say your name. Kiara Goodman. And yes. Kaylee Cook. And Ethan Glaus. And Trisha Morris. November 11th, it's a Saturday, they will be gone all day, and then you're supposed to come up and watch their concert on November 11th. Um, the 9th and 10th grade will perform at about 4.45. The thing starts at 4, but 7th and 8th grade starts it. So about 4.45, and then they're free to go after they sing. But it's a wonderful, uh, prestigious choir, and I'm really, really proud of you guys. All right, um, here we go. We are going to sing a song called Singing Bring Me. I don't think we've ever practiced this all together. You guys are getting the hint. We, we haven't done these together, um, especially with instruments and all of that, but we always do a good job, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Job Honors Choir, very proud of you. Um, our fourth song will be performed by our women's choir. This is a small group of girls, around 22. Um, I really love working with these girls. We have a lot of fun and laughs together, some tears, um, but you know, that's, that's normal. Uh, they'll be singing a song called The Bouquet. So as soon as I get up here, I'm gonna mention another announcement that I have. And this is the quickest way I can do the logistics. The logistics. I'm trying to make your concert go by quickly, and we've worked really hard on these logistics. So I'm trying to um, not make you sit here for very long, but I hope you enjoy the concert. ladies make their way up here. I wanted to mention that Beauty and the Beast is coming up November 16th through the 19th. That's Wednesday through Saturday night. Each night the doors open at 6 and the show starts at 6 30. Uh, we've been working hard on that and we hope to have it ready for you or we will have it ready for you on November 16th. We can't say hope, can we? We have to say we will. Um, if your student is involved in the musical, please make sure they are checking their classroom. I spend hours putting list of who needs to be there, at what times, for what part. So they have a Google Classroom, just like they do for all of their classes. And they need to be getting on that classroom and making sure they get the information about practices. So we will be practicing every Tuesday and Thursday, and we're probably going to have to add a few more to get the show ready for you all. But that is November 16th through the 19th. So without further ado, this is the Women's Choir, and they'll be singing a song called The Bouquet. Thank you. 
four choirs. They're going to be coming in now. And this is of about 80 girls up here. And they're going to be doing a song called Does the World Say? So if we can get them going this way, that would be wonderful. Thank you, Ms. Jankerson, for being another us. We really appreciate it. Here they come. All right. This will be, a, a, like I said, a group of about 80 girls. Uh, we have had one 10-minute practice together, and uh, but I believe in them, and I know that they're going to do a great job. This is a beautiful piece. Um, soloists are Maddie Glaus and Grace Sepulveda.
every single one of them is worth it and worth the time, and I really hope that they understand that. Hold me, rock me in your arms, oh. 